So we're back to the half ball cock kit and um, these are the parts that it basically consists of which is a spring cartridge, a shaft, half ball shaft with o-rings and this is a metal one because you'll find a lot of the old heads with plastic ones and they break and then the new half ball you can see why they call it a half ball which rotates to flush and I always spray everything down with 100% silicone spray um, and then the new hardware and this is the bowl so we're going to start with removing the china bowl don't go all the way around they have a gap when you put them together and you need to have that gap and the gap is right here at what seven o'clock and that's incorrect the gap needs to be directly on the back and then the head of the band clamp needs to span over that gap so that uh, when I reinstall this my band clamp I have its gap at 12 o'clock instead of 7 o'clock. So we got the band clamp off. There's a half ring rotated around. There's another half ring. And you can see they've got little tabs and they were, weren't tabbed in. You can see the gap. So that gap needs to be in the back and then the head of the band clamp needs to span over that gap. So we'll set these aside. And now we can pull off our china bowl. So I always have somewhere because you got bowl seals under here and I'll be reconditioning. I'm going to just back it off a little bit, reach back here and get this water valve, which is just in a uniseal, which is a push on seal, an easy way to say push on seal. And that, that bowl seal. So now I got the china bowl. And you can see I'm wearing gloves, high quality gloves, because we are dealing with, you know, human waste. Here's the bowl seals. They look okay. I'll pull them apart. As you can see, there's two of them. And I'll recondition them with the silicone spray. So now we're back just down to our base. And here's our half band clamp. There's the head of the clamp that needs to span at the 12 o'clock mark. <laughs> we'll set that aside and we'll get some paper towels. And kind of just dry things out because I actually have to rotate that ball to get it out. And I also will spray this whole base down with silicone spray and that's just going to add a residual effect to the plastic. You can see that that's the water valve with a siphon valve on it and it just pushes into that uniseal in the back of the toilet. So I don't have to dismount the base. I just have to take the pedal apart. careful not to drop anything inside that half ball cock. We'll set this aside, which is the pedal cover and now the cover comes off. And now what we've got is an armature, a water valve, 
a spring cartridge, and then a shaft kit, and a half ball. So now what we're going to do is take off that. There's my 5 sixteenths. take off this water valve and this gets new screws and I've got the water system turned off right now so these owners do leave their vacuum flush on but they're very consistent on turning city water off of course if you had a leak it would pretty much fill up your boat because city water is not going to stop running your holding tank of course it's going to stop running once it empties the holding tank you can see these are very long bolts because they go into the spring cartridge spraying that water valve down with silicone spray too and there's the water valve and these get thrown away and there's the water valve so now I'm down to the spring cartridge which just has a Phillips head screw holding it in place Once I get the spring cartridge and the foot pedal off, I can rotate my half ball cock and get the screw out of the shaft. Okay, so you can see I removed this one screw and now the pedal and spring cartridge comes out. So that gets thrown away. We retain the foot pedal. And now we can once again, gloves. Now we can rotate our half ball cock. And it's nasty. That's why I get all the crappy jobs. And what I do is I put this in and push it inward so I can get that screw out. released. Take that screw, set it aside, and push the shaft. There it is. Shaft kit all the way through. Okay. Now what we do is we rotate this nasty half ball cock up and then push it out of that retaining hole there. Wow, this is nasty. <clears throat> I'm the head mechanic, literally. I get all the crappy jobs. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze this half ball until I get it out. I don't want to damage any of the plastic here. But you can see, there we go. There's the half ball cock. And it is nasty. So. And that ain't mud, people. So now I'm gonna go change gloves and we'll come back to this video.